Before Canada's fighter jets take to the skies, they undergo rigorous testing under harsh conditions here on the ground. We were there for one of those tests inside the National Research Council's wind tunnel today. The results could bring changes to the fleet of CF-18. CTV's Katie Griffin is here with more. Katie? Well, Graham, they would essentially be relocating a giant infrared camera on the aircraft. It helps with surveillance and pre precision strikes, but also search and rescue. Now they're testing to see if the change is safe. The sound unmistakable. Plans are now underway to have an integral part of the CF-18 Hornet repositioned. So our pilots use it to identify both targets uh, on the ground and uh, in the air at a safe range. Inside the National Research Council's wind tunnel, a crucial test for the sniper pod. It's a very important uh, sensor on the aircraft uh, that our pilots use predominantly when we are uh, monitoring an area of interest or actually conducting targeting uh, and, uh, and precision strikes. Well, we're looking for loads um, and vibration data that we're collecting in the wind tunnel behind the nose landing gear during, the, during those uh, phases of flight. Officials say relocating the pod from the left side of the aircraft to the center will give pilots a clearer view of the ground below. And that's going to assist uh, our pilots and make it a lot easier to uh, uh, employ and support weapons up until impact as well as uh, assess their effects. This is the largest model that's ever been tested in this particular wind tunnel. The reason is for the speed. It had to get up to about 200 knots. Of course, we can't see the air. Um, with the smoke, we can actually visualize what the aerodynamics is happening around the sniper pod. So in this case, we're particularly interested in what the nose landing gear is doing to the air in front of the sniper pod. Despite the name, the pods also assist in search and rescue operations. You can search for people in a difficult terrain environments. Uh, so it goes beyond just a simple targeting uh, device. If testing is successful, the pods will be moved on all 75 aircraft in the fleet. After this, teams will analyze the data. A flight test will happen in Cold Lake, Alberta, but this whole certification process before these pods can even move is not expected to be completed until May 2019. Graham. All right, CTV's Katie Griffin reporting live for us. Thanks, Katie.